We're on Match Day Vibes, people. The warm up to what is going to be classed as the most important game of the season. Uh, even for Liverpool, to be honest. I mean, you look at it and you go, if Liverpool lose today and we're the ones that scupper their quadruple chances. And remember, it's a quadruple, not the quadruple. Let's get that straight. I think Andy made that point the other day as well. Well, yeah, if Man United do beat Liverpool today, then we're going to be looking at that from our side as great and a season booster for us. But for Liverpool, I think it's going to be one of, well, oh, it had to be them lot that did it, didn't it? And we are just behind here, over my shoulder, we have the Liverpool section, 10,000 Liverpool fans here today. No one here yet. I've not heard many Scouse accents yet, is all I'm saying. Uh, plenty of United fans out already. Loads of tourists getting all of their pictures and everything done. Usual match day stuff, but yeah. Uh, if you're wondering where the microphone is, it's just here below me. We're going incognito because security is is hyped up here today. Like our usual friend who tries to scupper every single live stream. He's walking around. I've seen him already. He's eyed things up. So we're trying to look a bit... Uh, like we're just having a general conversation, which we are, but obviously live on YouTube as well. So yeah, get your comments in. Please give the video a like. Uh, and we've got Josh, uh, who is going to let me know in some of the comments if you guys have got anything or any questions for me. No Kaz today. She is playing, sadly. She's gutted she cannot be here. We're gutted she can't be here and have Kaz on the mic. But hey, we're all, nothing changes. It is raining, so I think we deserve a like just for that. The fact that we're here talking to you guys. What is it? Three, four hours before kickoff? Four hours before kickoff, getting wet, talking about United. Honestly, I don't care. I don't care, and we're getting wet. This is like one of them days today where, like I said last night, I woke up this morning with all this renewed sort of optimism again. I was quite, I was quite optimistic actually when I was uh, talking about this game through the weekend. It's a weird feeling that I cannot describe. Like I ask any United fan, like the reality heads, uh, we're going to get smashed by a much better side. I understand all of that, but. In my head, I'm thinking stupid little things, and you're probably going to laugh at me for this now, here, eh? but that team bonding session, <laughs> I'm big on things like that, me. I'm thinking, right, if there was ever a time to have it, if there was ever a time to get everyone together in this team and just iron everything out over a nice pint, I don't know if they had a pint, I'm guessing they would have had one at least, some nice food, iron everything out, let's just get everything out on the table now, manager, coaching staff, players, Let's go out and let's F these mother up today. Let's do the bastards today. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I can feel my Liverpool United rivalry anger. Like, my fists are pumped, everything. Like, everything is just raring to go for this today. We're sat here. Uh, we're going to be with Andy in the stands as well today. Uh, sod off, like, get out of my face. We're going to be with Andy uh, as well today. He's sat with me watching the game. So, it, it's got all the makings of being an absolutely epic day. Uh, and like I said before, the content is just going to be off the scale. There's so many people that are coming to this game today. A happy St. Patrick's Day as well. St. Paddy's Day, everybody. There's plenty of Irish here already, trust me. Uh, they've had a night out last night, I'm guessing, uh, and they're here today. There'll be a lot of sore heads after this one if United win. But yes, happy Paddy's Day, everybody. Uh, I hope you have a great day. I hope United can make it even better in the celebrations later. Don't forget later on tonight that I will be with Jay. Uh, he is holding off on... The alcohol, the chemic, the beverages, whatever you want to call them, until we finish the stream. I said, just go for it, mate. If you come on and you're happy and you're a bit, a bit over the top, then that's fine. It all adds to the entertainment factor. But honestly, if we win today, I think everyone deserves an extra couple of pints, another drink, not one down, because it is going to turn everything around this season. This result today, it, I mean, we talked last night, and you see me laughing about Spurs. You see me laughing regarding that result and opening up the Champions League places again. Brentford got beat by Burnley yesterday and Brentford are our next game after the international break after today. So looking at that, we can get this win against Liverpool today, get in the semi-final, trip to Wembley. Then we get back from the international break, Leach is back, a few more players fit and available. We beat Brentford to kickstart that final running and it's like, holy lula, it, like, it's a total change around the season, isn't it? But hey, if buts, maybes, I'm under no illusion about what's in front of us here today, what's coming to town. A swan song singing, swashbuckling, cruise control Liverpool side under Klopp in his, let's be honest, his final season as Liverpool manager. You kind of knew, I, I called this out, I remember talking to a couple of Liverpool fans, they were all worried, they're going to down tools now, they're on secure future. I said, you're not United. If we'd have found out that bleeding our manager was leaving, and it sounds a bit contradictory because we won 
in the last season for Sir Alex, but I don't think it was the same sort of setup. It's like on the pressure that Liverpool are under and everything they were fighting for, and then Jurgen Klopp coming out and dropping that bombshell. A lot of Liverpool fans were saying, oh, we're just gonna, this is going to affect us so much now, like the insecurity of the future of who's going to be in next, the players are going to be worried. I don't think... I don't think it was. I didn't think it was the case. I thought, you know what? Knowing Liverpool and how they are and how their support is, they're just going to go out. Them players are just going to give absolutely everything to see Jurgen Klopp off, and it's it's happening. They're scoring at will. They're being able to string second teams out and still smash teams in the Europa League. They're getting by through, I will say, the skin of the teeth in certain games in the Premier League. And I mean, you can't really say that's not the case. They've got lucky a couple of times, but. That's what championship winning sides do. That is the mark of champions. And that's what's coming here today. And that's when I say I'm under no illusion as to what is coming here today. And like all my good vibes and positivity counts for, counts for a lot because I feel good when I'm going into a game when I'm a bit confident. I'm, I'm getting a real good sort of like build up vibe to this game today. But like I said, it's Liverpool. They're playing spectacular football right now uh, and <clears throat> they just seem to have the bit between the teeth and going hell for leather. This today, I feel like the biggest worry today, I mean, for us, yes, as the rain pours down, that is a big worry because I'm probably going to get drenched now talking to you guys, but hey, we'll have to just dry off and come back later. But uh, the biggest concern is like, I was saying like, all United can do in this game is just go and give everything and leave it all out there on the pitch. It's international break. They've got a rest after this because I don't think the internationals are as intense as what uh, club training is but still that's the same for Liverpool and I'm going well actually yeah that is a bit of a worry because Liverpool can just go out there today they're knackered they've had more games than United they've played twice since we played our last game for God's sake and they're going to be looking at this as going right this is our last one guys this is our last break now international break coming up after this game let's just go out there and give it absolutely everything and leave everything out there on the pitch so same for both teams. So what I said was a plus point for United is in fact a plus for Liverpool as well. So yeah, I think looking at it, both teams today will go in with the same mindset. It's just who's got the better quality. Now, the biggest concern, obviously news comes out and if Casemiro has dropped out of the Brazil squad, pretty much says that he's not playing today, which will be absolutely devastating for us. Uh, I'm not 100% what the script is there, whether that's a true story or not. It's been all over social media from late last night into early this morning. And I don't know. I don't know is the answer to it. But you would have thought if he's not available for Brazil, he's not going to be available for United, sadly. And it's, it's a gutter because that means what? Scott McTominay? That means Amrabat? I don't know how he's going to approach it. My feeling is he's going to go with Scott McTominay because of the energy, because he knows what this fixture is. You, you know he's an academy player who's going to give absolutely anything. We can argue the quality, but right now in this game, if you were choosing between an Amrabat and a McTominay, if I'm Ten Hag, I'm probably looking at, I'm probably looking at the uh, that passion factor, needing someone who is going to ruffle feathers, going to go into tackles heavy-handed, actually, because we're going to need to play a different sort of game today. We haven't got the quality to handle Liverpool. We haven't got the quality to deal with what they've got outright going head to head. We need to have a sort of secondary game plan as well as the one we've got on top. So for me, I just feel like United need to be rough and ready, need to be in and about it, and we need to be in their faces. And Scott, for me, would do it. I'm not saying I'm about wouldn't, but I think Scott's got a little bit more energy to get up and down the pitch as well. Uh, hopefully the camera and the lens is all okay for you guys. I know. It's lashing it down and we don't want any raindrops on the actual lens. But uh, yeah, we got any comments coming in there, Josh, from anyone? Uh, we've got General Foodie asking an important question about where the croissant is. The croissant, sorry mate. Uh, I had a feeling, I did look at the forecast, General Foodie. Croissant factor, I know it's supposed to be paper round today and this is covering it, but I don't like soggy croissants. Uh, it would be absolutely drenched here. So yeah, no, sorry, General Foodie. Uh, any others, Josh? Uh, freelancer thinks that Casemiro is injured for Brazil, but not for United, so he thinks he'll play. Well, that's weird. That's, see, I don't understand. How can you be injured for Brazil and not be injured for United, knowing that you've got to play United yet? Play for United yet? I don't understand that. I know where you're going with it, but it's confusing, isn't it? That's all I'll say. It's like, 
why, why has it come out that he's not available for Brazil? Has he just declared himself unavailable? Has he done a Ben White and said, I don't want to play? I don't know. Uh, maybe he's thinking of his fitness. He's going to be playing this Liverpool game, giving everything, and then he's going to have a, what, what a rest. I'm happy if it's the case, and we don't have to wait for Casemiro to come back, and he can uh, get into some training at Carrington for two weeks. Uh, any more, Josh? We've got Sean saying that Amrabat is the obvious replacement. Amrabat's um, over McTominay. Uh, Guys, keep them yeah. comments in. Yeah. He thinks that he'll get the skill, but he thinks Scott will get the nod instead of Amrabat. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I do think Scott will get the nod. He will. Uh, I think just like I said. The fact that he is an academy player, he knows what this game is more than I'm not saying I'm about doesn't know about United Liverpool games, but you gotta look at it and go, you know what I mean. Scott would get it, wouldn't he? He would, he would. Uh, please give the video a like, guys. Uh, we are getting wet. Uh, that is just an appreciation like, and we've got over 600 in the room with us right now. Thank you so much. I think the vibe is that you guys are all uh, appreciative that we're bringing the content while we're getting drenched. I couldn't give a toss today, guys. I would get drenched on. All I'm bothered about is the result. Like, honestly, it, it's just bubbling up inside right now. The excitement of Liverpool United again feels like there's so much on this game today. Yeah, that is honestly how it feels. It feels like we're in a position where the season ends today or it goes on to that next level. It does. I don't think we can stop and restart again. We can't take another hit and then to come back again. We've had that with City. We had that with Fulham. That was the last hurdle that we tripped over that's all we can afford we can't afford any more complete and utter meltdowns fallouts slip ups anything like that whichever way you want to call it we can't afford it now it has to be starting today get out there at least give us that performance where this is a tight game and liverpool know that they're in a game and if it does go down to the wire then we've got a chance of taking it because we're at old trafford and just being in the game, in a game like this, with all them Liverpool fans in it, it will bring the crowd into it. It will force the atmosphere on everyone in the stadium. And that's what's important. That is key to this today. And I think we will prevail. There's a line for you. It's a clip. <laughs> the whole title of this video is one of like, United can do this. We need this. I know we can beat Liverpool today. I feel like we have got a better team out there now than what we did when Liverpool came last season, when the chips were down and Ten Hag was on the back of two defeats in his first two games, and we beat them 2-1. I feel like we're in a miles better position than what we was then. So, yeah, I'm confident that United can get something out of the game. But again, I'm realistic. I know that Liverpool are purring. I know that they're up for it just as much as we are. We're talking, and it does seem sometimes, I just want to make this point, it does seem sometimes like we're talking like Liverpool and not even thinking the same way as us. They are. It's massive. They're coming here in the thousands today, expecting Liverpool to get the win and march on to a semi-final. So, yeah, I look at it and I go, well, it's up to United players. I said it in the video yesterday morning when I said that everyone is going to be on Ten Hag. You know what? I'll probably have something to say after the game if it goes wrong. If I see something on the pitch that I didn't like, a substitute, I'll give them a critique as I would. But this today is fully on the players. They know what's in front of them. There's a reason why like I said that that team bonding session was this week perfect time perfect time to get out let your hair down a bit do it properly marcus with the teammates not out on your own making your own schedules up and get everything ironed out get ready for it these players know today that this is liverpool they know where the fan base is they know the heat that's coming on the players from the fan base from the media from everyone and you have to perform you have to put more into games like this it's a standard with United you should be thinking like being organised like we was against Liverpool in that game in the league and against City in the league yet City's quality came through in the end but over a game and a half without conceding against them two sides that's the concentration level you need we know we can do it we have gone to them two grounds and got something in terms of performance or structure or half a game plan it's the plan B, like we've seen it through at Liverpool and that works well. The plan B was no, nothing after what happened when City scored. That's the concern that we've got. It's not like we can't see the game plan, but what happens if, and by that if I mean what happens if that doesn't work? So what happens today, Liverpool score in the first five minutes? What's Ten Hag's plan? That's what I'll be watching from Ten Hag. It's not so much he isn't a good enough manager, but you need to show me within the game that you have got something that is going to be able to handle this atmosphere and the pressure that comes if Liverpool score that first goal today. 
that's what I need to see from Ten Hag today. And I think that's what I'm going to need to see from the players as well. Are you going to take that instruction? Are we going to be able to see a connection between manager, coaching staff and players when the chips are down against the quality outfit that Liverpool are? That's what we're all going to be looking for today. And I feel like the players, more than just the effort, we know they're going to put a shift in and be knackered. I feel like that's a must today and that will just naturally come from the players. God, I hope so. But it's listening to the game plan. I think everyone's going to be able to see from the sidelines what our plan is with Ten Hag. When he makes a change, we're going to be scrutinising it. When a player comes on, are you going to be that player that sulks and mopes that you was on the bench and should have been starting and you come on and it's half-hearted? You know what I mean by that. Are you going to be a player that comes on and says to the manager, F you, you try and drop me in the next game now after what I'm about to do on this pitch. Are you going to get it by the scruff of the neck and go, I should have been starting instead of, I should have been starting, I can't be asked for this shit. I understand the argument against that as well. Like some players just know that they're not going to start the next game because favourites and all of that. But for the fans, and if you want the fans on your side, and this is where it turns from players to manager. So go out there, give you give absolutely everything you've got and more, and then the pressure's going to move back to Ten Hag. Right now, I would say it's on the players more, like I said yesterday. But if you go out today and you put that shift in, and then Ten Hag doesn't pick you in that Brentford game, then the pressure's back on him. Make the manager's job difficult by listening to him and performing and doing as you were told. And then if he does drop you, well, there you go. That basically is where the fans are with the players right now. They're not looking at it in a way that it's unfair on you. They're looking at it like you just, just can't be asked. You're not performing on the pitch to even argue with the manager that you don't belong on the pitch is what I'm saying. Uh, any interesting comments coming in there, Josh Led? We've got one from Matt saying McTominay should be an impact sub, not a starter. And I'd rather do a better job defensively than McTominay, and that's exactly what we need. Yep, I think I uh, agree, McTominay, impact sub. Uh, it all depends on if Casemiro is actually fit. It's a bit of a mystery at the moment. I'm sure there'll be pictures coming out soon of the players arriving. They usually arrive about this time. So, uh, yeah, I think the news will start to come out regarding Casemiro and what's going on there. Uh, any more, Josh? Uh, Kaz has given us a super chat saying, Josh and Adam, go get a coffee. Ah, yes, we will go and get a coffee. Central 11 St. Paddy's Day celebrations. If you go into the game, come over to Salford Keys and see me and Josh there. We're going to be there having a bit of a match day warm up. Graham's coming there to meet us as well. So if you want to say hello, then just come over. Uh, we'll be there getting a pre match meal, celebrating Paddy's Day. There's loads of special offers on at uh, 11 Central as well today, guys. So make sure you get over there. Kaz, thanks for the super chat and thanks for the coffee. One from Tank saying Rashford will score in the first five minutes and then take an 85 minute haul. <laughs> Tank, yeah. I hope yeah, I hope he scores for one, as it gives us a chance. But uh, I also hope we don't get that city reaction that we had last time. But the difference this time, being at Old Trafford, I think that's where it's gonna count more. I think that's gonna be the deciding factor in all of this. Because the fans won't let him. They won't allow him to drop off. And he will feel the heat. He will really feel that heat. Uh, don't forget to please give the video a like, guys. We'll get an update on that. How many likes have we got in the house? Uh, 179 at the minute. Whoa. 800 people watching. Nice. 800. Let's keep sharing the video. Let's see if we can get over 1,000 people in the room with us, guys. Uh, let's get them likes up to 200 as well. I think we can hit 300 before we finish today anyway, guys. But yes, the Vuvu Zaylers. I can hear him. He's just... Yep, yeah, there he is. Oh, yes, my God. I swear to... It's not a game for Vuvu Zaylers, it really isn't, honestly. Right on cue. Anyway, yeah, the Old Trafford factor. That's what I wanted to talk about next. Like, today with this team, I think they know there's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to hide today. Like, everything that's happened this season, it feels like it's all come to this big crescendo. Like, this moment today, this is what it's come to. And I feel like everyone knows how important this is including the players but the heat that they're going to get from the fans i think is more important than anything today because they are going to get backed the atmosphere is going to be electric absolutely electric today for both sets of fans it's going to be an epic event that's what it's going to be and the players you either use it or you buckle and it's, it's horrible to say this but 
the fans are going to go in on anyone who sort of buckles, and some people just can't handle it. It's not fair to really over criticise. It's just not in their not in their blood to handle playing for United in games like this. But we're at a stage now as a fan base where everyone is looking for a mistake. Everyone's ready to scrutinise. We've all had enough. Take that away from us. Go out there and give us absolutely nothing to complain about. Go out there and give us absolutely nothing to bitch and moan about. Don't give me and Andy something to rant about on our vlogs after the game. Just go and prove us wrong, is what I'm saying. Go and prove us wrong and show us that you can actually play for this team. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about obviously was Mason Mount as well and whether he actually gets on the pitch today. I said no earlier on, but the noise he's coming out is he's, he's decent and he's going to be in this match day squad. And if he's in the match day squad, then off the bench for a 10, 15 minute cameo, I'm all for that, all for that. And if there's a moment, come on and just, you know what, you know what I'm saying? I'm going down the old sort of like fairy tale sort of uh, storyline here. I know, give it me, just let me have this moment, shall we? It's, it's Liverpool against United and the season's on the brink. Mason Mount comes on after having four months out this season. All the critique that he's been getting, all of the crap that came out the other day about why he was brought for United. He comes on and just lashes one from 25 yards. That, straight past Kelleher, right into the bottom left-hand corner, bang, in front of the Stretford end, wins the game for United. Thank you. I'll take it now. 2-1 win. I've gone with 2-1, by the way. I think it is going to be one of them games for United. 2-1 win for us, for us. And how I've got to that score, I cannot really break it down and tell you or analyse it, to be honest. It's just a feeling. It's just, that's all it is. It's just that match day vibe that you get. Like I've been sat here, you guys know, I've said a few games, like, I don't feel confident. I can't tell you. It's my honest answer. I don't know why. I just got that United feeling. And you know what? I'll take the L. I'll take the absolute abuse that I'm going to get. I'm sure there's Liverpool fans in this chat right now are looking at this and going, what are you smoking, you absolute idiot? But oh, I'll take the abuse that's coming later. I'll talk through what went wrong if it does go wrong. Uh, I've got to back my team. I've got to back my team. And on days like this, I will always back my team at Old Trafford. If it was away from home, I may be a little bit more, let's just say, I don't know what the right word is to describe it, actually, what I would be. I'd be a bit more realistic in terms of form and what's happening with the teams, how well each team's playing and stuff like that. But, yeah, I do feel like today is a day where United have got the opportunity, everything is set up to turn up, and that's why I've got that we're going to win today. We are going to beat Liverpool 2-1. I feel like Bruno is going to score in a big game. And everyone's going to be like, well, at least he scored in a big game because he always disappears. But he needs to have a massive game today. He needs to have a huge game as our captain today. Lead by example. The petulant factor isn't going to lie today. There's no room for it. There are times when you can do your little bits of skullduggery in games and stuff like that. But there are times when you just need to knuckle down and just get through a game and get your team through a game. That's what's important. I feel like that's what Bruno needs to bring today. I think he will understand the situation right now. He will understand where we're at in the season. And we'll see him today. We will. And their midfield, yep. Yeah, I think that's gettable. I do. They've got players back and they're better. The front line is scary for Liverpool. Uh, Nunes scares me with his pace and his energy, even though his finishing isn't the best. Salah, say no more. Diaz is just an energiser bunny. And I really hope that Juan Bazaka does start today because I feel like he's the best man to handle Diaz. And then you pass that. It's about United taking their chances. Don't be scared of Van Dijk. Come on, he isn't all of that. I get loads of shit for saying that all the time about Van Dijk. I don't think he's as good as what people are saying. And yeah, he's had some good games. I'm not saying he's a bad defender, but I do think he's gettable. I do. And what we need today is like Rasmus, Garnacho, and Rashford just running. Don't be scared to be tackled. Don't be scared to be put on your ass by Van Dijk or crunching tackle with someone else. Get back up, dust yourself off, go again. Show the fans that it doesn't affect you. That's what it's going to take today to get the fans on board. If you get taken out, don't matter. Doesn't matter. Get up, keep going, go again. Simple as. That's basics of football. Don't let it affect you in the head because that's what they will do. And as soon as them players start to think that Liverpool are getting on top of them, it's game over. 
And that's what we don't want to be talking about. That's what we don't want to see today. Uh, Josh, comments and memberships. I've seen some are popping yeah, in. Got, uh, General Foodies gifted a membership. Who has taken that one? Um, T. T. Yeah. Uh, he's a Liverpool fan, I think. T as well. <laughs> membership on a day like today. Is T a member? Actually, T, are you a Liverpool fan? Did you come from Anfield Agenda? I'm not too sure, actually. I know Kaz would correct me on that one. I lose track of where everyone comes from because there's that many, but any more comments coming in? Uh, we had one from Charles before saying that he thinks that Anthony might score the winner. Oh, <laughs> hey, I don't care who scores the bleeding winner. <laughs> I don't care who scores today. If it goes off Harry Maguire's arse cheek on a two-minute cameo, if it goes in that net, I do not care. Just get in there and get us the W. That's all I'm bothered about. Any more, Josh? Uh, Darren thinks McSauce might get a red card. Uh, yeah, well, he's a passionate it's game. Possible. Passionate game, you never know. Hopefully Liverpool will get a red card and it plays into our hands. You just don't know on games like this. Passion can take over and can dictate the style of play, can dictate how the game goes and what happens with yellows and reds and everything. So, yeah, uh, any more, Josh? Uh, <clears throat> Dave saying, if you think United are going to win today, then you're seriously deluded. Yeah, I'll take the deluded chant. I do. Uh, I just feel it. And you can all laugh at me later and tell me you told me so. I'm all right with that. I am. But I'm back in my team today. Like, Liverpool are in town. I'm not having 10,000 Liverpool fans turn up here. I'm just laughing at us and walking around like they're just going to have a stroll in the park. We need to be at it. We do. Any more, Josh, lad? Um, got uh, Dexy Boy saying Van Dyke isn't all that. Van Dyke's not all that, someone's agreeing with me on that. Uh, he'll have the game of his bleeding life now, won't he? You know it. Uh, hopefully not, hopefully not. So, how many likes are we away from? 300 now? So, we've got 922 in the room and we've got 247 likes. Oof, 250. Guys, keep sharing the video. Let's see if we can hit that thousand mark with the amount of people in the room. And we're after the 300 likes as well, guys, to kickstart match day. Don't forget, afterwards, you've got to be tuned in. It's me, and uh, There's a lot of other people coming on. The vlogs today as well there's loads of opinion after this you're going to want to be tuned in and then there's going to be a late night session with me and jay with your chance to get your comments in and we're going to open it right up to you guys tonight for your thoughts on the game you can rate everything on the players to the manager where the season's going to go from there everything that is what is happening tonight i'm praying that it is going to be one of them happy happy times happy time <laughs> Uh, getting a bit busier now, the rain has stopped, thank God. Uh, I'd say, what, uh, maybe a couple of thousand outside Old Trafford here, it's still early doors. No sign of the Liverpool fans just yet that I can see. Uh, like I said, we are just over the way from the away section. A big one today, because I think they're going to take the full top tier of the stand behind me, the East Stand. So, uh, that's usually what happens in cup games with bigger allocation. So, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a hotbed. It's going to be a furnace of noise in there today. And it's going to be old school Old Trafford, I think. And it's going to be, honestly, it's going to, days like this, I feel, these are the games where are going to make people feel all nostalgic and not want to lose Old Trafford. These are the types of games that people remember Old Trafford for. And I think this is, this is where it's going to play on the heartstrings a bit more. A win today, seeing the atmosphere, a bouncing Stretford end, that's when people are going to be like, no, we can't get rid of Old Trafford, can we? We can't. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I just hope that that is the case and it isn't another sombre Old Trafford afterwards because they said people have said to me this week and as the week has gone on, everyone's got a little bit more bullish and confident. Apart from the Liverpool fans telling me I'm completely deluded, uh, there's been a lot more people going from we're going to get smashed to the players coming back and the sort of vibes and sometimes it is just the amount of time we've got between games where we convince ourselves that we are going to be uh, we're going to be able to compete with Liverpool, but I feel like a lot of people have actually looked at this and gone, no, we, we can compete with Liverpool here. There's no way that we're going to roll over and have our tummies tickled today by the Scousers. Not a chance in hell. So be ready for after the game, guys, because like I said, I'm going to throw it right to you and just say, look, I told you, we got the win. If we don't get the win, then what are you going to look at? You've got to just say, Look, Liverpool are better side. But we will be competing today with Liverpool. We will be more than competing with Liverpool today. And I just feel like we are at that stage now where there's nothing to say. There's nothing There's nothing else to analyse. We know how bad this team is. We're just wanting to see characters. We're wanting to see a bit of character and we want to see a bit of reaction to what the, <coughs> what the fans have been demanding. And that is it. That is it. I mean, 
Guys, you let me know. Get some score predictions in. Josh is going to come to me with them in a minute. Have I convinced you? Have I convinced you that United are going to be able to take that win today and get into the semi-final? Get back to Wembley. Get your score predictions in. Get your goal scorers in as well, guys. Let me know uh, how you're feeling overall. Uh, what have we got there likewise, Josh? Have we managed to hit our likes? Uh, 292 on the likes and 964 in the room at the minute. Oh, so we're only 30 odd people away from getting a thousand in the room, guys. Keep sharing the video as well. Make sure you like the video. Now, if I just said like it now, I'm sure we would get over that 300 mark in the likes easily just by calling that out. So I know that's going to happen. All we got to get is over a thousand in the room as well, and then we've hit our targets. But yeah, keep it going, guys, and let me know what you think of the game today. This is your chance now. We're opening it up. We're opening it up uh, to your uh, score predictions, your thoughts on the game, Josh. What's the vibe? A lot of two-one predictions for United. I've uh, convinced them. Will they're all two-one? Two ones all around. I like Ronnie's it. Two-one. Nice, nice, nice. Keep um, them coming. I catch one nil. Any bad ones in there? Yeah, Robbie. Oh, Robbie I have Salmon, to ask. 5 1 Liverpool win. What? Robbie, come on. Are you a Liverpool fan or are you just a downbeat United fan right now? <laughs> I can't remember. I'm like, without seeing the screens, guys, it's hard for me to remember who it is. Like, without reading a name, it's difficult. But yeah, uh, I knew there was going to be some negative, uh, negative people in the chat as well. It's inevitable. I mean, Liverpool are a better team. We're not hiding away from that. But hey, look, if Fulham can smash Spurs 3 0, then we can beat, we can beat Liverpool. We just take any win today. It does not matter. I guarantee it's bleeding City in the semi-final. It was inevitable that we are going to meet them again. But in a way, it's good because maybe we'll have a, a better team by the time that, that game comes around. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself again. It is Liverpool first here at Old Trafford. Our first game here in the cup this season, which is uh, which is a rarity. Two seasons before without a home cup game, but no, this is it today, and yeah, we're uh, we're all ready to go, and I think we're all we're all ready for this. I think when I start talking to people outside Old Trafford in a bit, when we come back for the game closer to match time, I don't know the nerves will be kicking in then with people. I don't know if it'll be a stage where it's like oh, I actually don't know now. I don't know. We're gonna know. I tell you how we're gonna know this game's gonna go within the first ten minutes. We're gonna see if anyone's nervous. We're going to see the game plan. If someone does, does a leap shot and goes right through the back of a Liverpool player, a no-nonsense tackle, if Liverpool pass their way through us in the first 10 minutes, and I'll, honestly, I will be shitting myself like for the game. Because you've seen it before, eh? the, them scenes of an empty Old Trafford, nearly 20,000 fans leaving at half-time. We can't have that. That is the end of Ten Hag, if that happens. That really is. You cannot see that again. You can't have a 7-0 scenario again, especially not on our own patch. They've done us 5-0 here. And we are just ready just to give it to them Liverpool fans. We are ready to give it back. They will take our little piece out of this season. And hopefully, that little piece is today. And that is all we can hope for today. Any last score predictions coming in, Josh? We've got a lot of 3-2s coming in. Um, oh, that's going to be a nerve-wracking game. It's going to be... Uh, we've had a couple of comments saying that um, Mount's going to score a last-minute free kick. I'll have that. I'll have it. I said that. I'll take that. What a comeback. There's your fairy tale story right there. Any Ray, more? Ray saying he thinks there's going to be a shock 3-0 win for United. Whew. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've batted Liverpool like that. I can't even remember the last time we've... We're clear ahead of them in a game. They've had loads of big wins against us, but all ours have been narrow victories, just scraping by, haven't they? So, yeah, I don't know with that one. But, yeah, I'm going to stick with my 2-1 for United. I fancy uh, Bruno Fernandes, and I do fancy... Who else did I say then? I was hoping that Mount was going to do it, but I don't even know if he's going to be in the squad, so I'm going to say Rasmus comes back and scores. Bruno gets the other one. United hold on to a 2-1 win, and it's all jubilation at Old Trafford as we move on to the semi-finals. That's all I care about. That's all I care about. But yes, guys, before we finish up, make sure you please do give the video a like. Uh, make sure you are subscribing to Forever United TV. Stay tuned for that content after the game. There's going to be loads of reaction, fan reaction. We're going to be live later on tonight as well. Full day of content for you all to get your teeth into. But guys, that is us pretty much done for now. We're going to go and get our coffee that Kaz has bought us with a super chat. Thanks for that, Kaz. We miss you. Uh, and we will be, uh, yeah, we'll be back straight after the game, guys. Stay tuned <clears throat> and we'll keep you posted on everything as it comes. It'll be 20 minutes or so after the game, but that's it for now, guys. Give it a like on your way out and we'll see you all after the game.